Now to a St. Louis suburb where there is growing outrage tonight over new evidence that shows unacceptable levels of radioactive contamination at an elementary school. It's near an area where nuclear weapons were produced during World War II. CBS's Adriana Diaz spoke with some of the parents who are demanding answers. Radioactive contamination detected at Jana Elementary School's playground measured 22 times higher than normal, according to a study commissioned for a class action lawsuit. The study also found, quote, unacceptable levels in the school's kitchen, gym, and ventilation systems. It's overwhelming right now. When Patrice Strickland heard about the contamination, she decided to keep her two children home to learn virtually. The very first place that I heard about it was on the news. She spoke at last night's school board meeting where the district apologized and said Jana will go virtual starting Monday. What went through your mind when you heard about the potential contamination inside the school? It's a lot of things that you can protect your kids from, but that felt like something that I had no control over. And as a parent, it's not easy to feel like you don't have control. The Army Corps of Engineers did inform the school district in January of low-level radioactive contamination in the banks of the Coldwater Creek, which is on school grounds, but said the levels did not pose an immediate risk to human health. The Corps told CBS News the lawsuit study is not consistent with our accepted evaluation techniques and must be thoroughly vetted. The school building is outside the Corps' testing boundaries. I've been asking for answers. But PTA President Ashley Bernal says the Corps has not been transparent. I believe sunshine is an excellent disinfectant. And so I am willing to disinfect everywhere we got to go by pulling every rug out and shaking it. To get to the truth. To get to the truth. No more dirt is swept under them. We're not hiding anymore. We are pulling it all out. Students will learn from home until at least Thanksgiving. After that, they'll be sent to other schools for the rest of the academic year. Lawmakers representing Missouri in Congress in Washington, where you are, Nora, are demanding immediate action from the Army Corps of Engineers. Oh, that's quite a story. Adriana Diaz, thank you.